At the time of recording this, there is some mini crisis going on in the United States of America where a decision has not been made by Donald Trump to quote unquote accept the defeat that is quote unquote suffered in the elections at the hands of Joe Biden. And the country is quite off in a limbo. There is one divide that are sitting waiting for a breakthrough. There is another divide that are celebrating and can't wait for the swearing in of their commander in chief. The indecision in there is affecting things. It's like things are on a standstill. And in the episodes today, in the episode today, we are, we are talking about indecision and how it affects our lives. That decision making is one of the greatest things we can do. But also on the flip side, if we are not making decisions, instant, fast, and constant decisions, we are undoing ourselves. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Over a decade ago, I was involved in a relationship and I had this girlfriend. And uh, of course, you know how these relationships normally are. You are in one heart, you know, you're going in full in and all in. And you're looking at the object of your affection and you're so in love and so on. And something happened down the line where, you know, we were in two different countries and so on. And then she sent a message that we need to put our relationship on a halt because, quote-unquote, we haven't heard from God. And so we need to reevaluate things. Let me tell you, one of the worst things you can ever go through is a season of indecision. Staying in a limbo, not knowing whether it's going to be a yes or it's going to be a no. In fact, very many people stay in this limbo and embrace this limbo because they are dreading the no. They would rather stay in a limbo, you know, not knowing uh, what uh, the verdict is going to be like than get the verdict immediately. So indecision becomes a safety net for them, a cushion for them. But in terms of success, in terms of prosperity, in terms of fulfilling your potential and becoming the best version of yourself, in terms of getting your purpose out there in life, indecision is one of the worst things that you can use. It is one of the worst comforts that you can have. And so we went to our pastors after a season of time, you know, and as we were talking and as we were having counseling going on, the question was put to us, what do you guys want to do? And she said, I want to pray. I want to go away and pray and I want to wait on this. I couldn't stand it. I said, no. Tell me my fate right here and right now. Let me know. Let me know what it is. Am I with you or I'm out of your life? And the decision was made right then and there. And I moved on. I have never cried in my life like I cried that time. And she knows. But the decision was made. And I moved on. And I'm not blaming the other party. I played a very crucial role, by the way, towards that decision being made. 
My point is not that relationship. My point is decision making. Having an opportunity to decide and act on the decisions that you have made. See, a decision lets you to start taking action and lets you start moving. An indecision gives you an excuse to stay put, to wait until God gives you a burning bush experience, to wait until the heavens resound, to wait until the season is right, to wait until everything is favorable, to wait until everything is perfect. And let me tell you, that moment never comes. Perfection never will come. It never will come. So indecision is the worst thing that you can ever face. I tell you, like I said in the episode yesterday, that the greatest downfall we face in life in terms of progress, in terms of success, in terms of development, the greatest problem we face, the greatest downfall is vacillating over making decisions. So the way we can easily make our lives better, like I said yesterday, it is through constant, instant, and fast decision making. Look at your life today. What decisions have you consciously made about how your life is going to be like, about how you want your life to turn out? Consciously, instantly, and constantly fast decisions. If you are living in a life where maybe you are a leader of sorts, you realize how important this is. That you cannot continue vacillating over decision making. One decision that you are vacillating over affects families. Affects like now in America, it's affecting the whole country. One decision affecting the whole country. And probably they are playing politics with all those things and so on and so forth. And probably that's what... uh, Al Gore did in 2016, I believe, 2000, the year 2000, he made a decision and the country moved on. But right now, America hasn't moved on. People are still waiting. What I'm saying is that you're vacillating over a decision making is affecting communities. If you're a CEO, one indecision affects the families of the people that are working for you one indecision so i recently attended a leadership summit and uh, the speaker gave us quite a bit of nuggets you know quite a lot you know those summits where you attend and you just your mind is just blown point after point script after scripture precept after precept precept and so on and over lunch a friend of mine talked of how he wanted to assimilate everything you know everything that the speaker was teaching and i told him you know that's not how I operate. I told him that he never needs to do that. I showed him my notebook where I had written just one decision. Huh? Just one decision. You see, you can have knowledge upon knowledge, revelation upon revelation, precept upon precept, doctrine upon doctrine. Where the rubber meets the road, is what have you decided to do with all the information, all the revelation, all the knowledge, all the precepts and all the doctrines. So I showed him one decision that I had written down as a result of the presentation. There are very many beautiful things that the speaker talked about, but I made one decision, one decision. That one decision once implemented is much more potent, much more powerful than cramming all the knowledge. Pythagoras theorem, Lamax theorem, I don't know which theory and so on and so forth. We have all the knowledge, we are cramming all the knowledge, but we are not making decisions to use the information that is already available to us. You see, like I said yesterday in the episodes, my breakthrough (laughs) is not out of here where I am. Like I showed you in the episode yesterday, I went on my Facebook and I say that my biggest problem is not ideas. It is loyalty to deploy what I already have. And I was shocked that very many people were saying true, true, including my mentor. 
is my mentor in California, I believe, who said, truth, absolute truth. And very many guys that I respect, they said, me too. Having ideas is not a big problem. My problem is um, deploying the ideas that I already do have. And that's why I'm saying that the answer, my friends, is decision making. To decide to lean into the knowledge and the decision that we do have today and stop playing God. God is the only entity that sees things in three dimension. I mean, even four dimension, six dimension, seven dimension, sees things back and forth and forth and back and center and up and down, down and up. I mean, he sees everything. Thoughts, intents and actions and eventualities and misses and if things would have gone this way. He knows all the tapestry of everything. We don't have that luxury. We don't have that privilege. The only thing we do have is to act on what we have right now. And what we have right now, you know what I found out? It is a seed to what is going to come tomorrow. You see Apple and you celebrate Apple and you know it's the biggest company. Those of you who have Apple products, you know, iPhones, iPads and iMacs and so on. It was a decision that made iPhone, I mean Apple to be where they are right now. A simple decision to stop goofing around with their electronics and create an app. I mean and create a, a, a machine, an electronic machine that can help people. That's it. The rest is history. They did not know they are going to be a trillion dollar company. They did not know. I had no clue, no idea. But they made a decision in the context of where they were to do what they could do. Remember the quote I gave you yesterday from John Wesley. He said, do all the good you can by all the means you can. In all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as you ever can. And we asked you a question today. Can you? That is where it begins. What can you do today? Make a decision and do it. Whatever sphere it is that you want to change, is it in the relationship? Is it in business? Is it in money? Is it in career? Is it in family? What can you do? What you can do at the moment is not necessarily the foolproof answer, but it is the opening door towards you getting the breakthrough that you're looking for. Answers in life, they come as you are in motion. And to be in motion is to make a decision and to follow through with that decision. Tony Robbins is credited to have said this. He said that more than anything else, I believe it is our decisions, not our conditions, that determine our destiny. And he says it is in the moment of decision making that our destinies are shaped. So if we want a destiny, we've got to be people of decision making. Instant, constant, and fast. You know, there's this guy called uh, Bertrand Russell. He said that nothing is so exhausting as indecision. And nothing is so futile. Indecision is exhausting. And, you know, we, we, we say that we want to get everything right before we can make a decision. Warren Buffett says, get it right, get it fast, and get it out of the way, get over it. Get it right, get it fast, get it out, get over with it. Make the decision and move on. And stop vacillating over this and over that. So here is how you can improve your life. Each week, maybe each day, make a decision and get it done. And I've said elsewhere that the greatest thing you can do is to decide on something you are going to finish. The title of your decision making could be, what can I finish today? 
and go finish it. Do the same thing tomorrow and the following day and the following day and the following week and the following month and every year after that. Each week, make a decision and get over with it. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. That's it. Each day or minute you postpone making a decision or taking action that you're supposed to take, you're just dying in installments. But you're also affecting the rest of the world with your indecision. So get that at the back of your mind. And tomorrow we're going to look at some of the decisions. What are some of these decisions that you need to make? You know, we're coming to that season of decision making where it's a new year and so on. But what decisions can you be able to make? There are very many, but I'm going to zero in on just quite a few that I believe are pillars for your destiny, pillars for your purpose, pillars for your life. Until tomorrow, think on these things and bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.